Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be installing some drawers underneath the Triton. So as you've recently just seen, I've installed the King's tub rack and the rooftop tent. This is purely just because I want to have um, a good, easy setup for one day trips to the beach with my mates, because we all don't really take time off work until Christmas, so we like to go on the weekends and have some fun. So what I'm gonna do under here is, I've got a dual battery set up here, but I'm gonna put uh, the, I've got this 1300 King's Draw and the wing kit for it and then I've just got some of this plywood to go underneath it so I can tech screw into this plywood and into the tub liner instead of drilling holes. This stuff is just 12 mil thick and it's 1200 by 897 and then got some marine carpet to go on top so it all looks nice. So let's get into this. So I've just measured this out here and you can see it fits pretty flush up against this side which is what I wanted. This is because on this side it'll have the wing kit so you're not even going to see that anyway and the drawer will sit as level to the wheel arch as I can get it. So that should be pretty, pretty perfect and yeah that should work out alright so let's cut the back piece. Okay both pieces are now cut so what I'm going to do is get contact adhesive, spray it on the um, wood and then I'll spray on the carpet but first I'll measure out the carpet obviously then stick it on both ones and staple the back side of them so let's get into that So the contact adhesive is now roughly sprayed over that and the carpet. So I wait for that to get to it's not really sticky and that's when you know it's ready to put on. And then I've got an air stapler and I'll fold the edges over the, to the bottom and staple it on so it can't go anywhere. For those of you who don't know, this is a Ryobi air stapler and it is the best tool ever invented. All you do is, you, you buy one of these, they're pretty cheap, um, put the staple straight in it, like that, and you plug in your air compressor and it staples it all for you, it's the best tool ever. Okay, so they're both now carpeted and ready to go in. So I'm gonna put them in there and text them straight to the tub liner uh, with some nice wood screws or something like that. And yeah, then we'll get to mounting the drawer. All right, so that's all in there now, guys. Only thing there is, is you can see a little gap there. It doesn't really bother me. I don't really mind. I'm not gonna look at that that often. I just want to push it up against his side because I'm gonna eventually have a DIY jerry can that spray some water and my fridge is going to be here so yeah i'll crack into getting this open and set this up for you guys mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, quick tip for the Kings draw since the instructions look like an Atari game. Um, you take all these top parts off and then there's hidden bolts in here. And then you can lift the top straight off for easy mounting. Otherwise, it's, and it saves yourself reaching straight in there. Otherwise, it gets pretty difficult. And make sure you don't have to, but you can put these stops on so it doesn't come all the way out. But if you want the extra room to pull out, you can use that. So yeah, let's get into mounting this thing. Okay, draw is all mounted and put in there. So that's looking nice, that looks killer. So now let's just open this uh, universal wing kit and try and figure out something to go there. Alright, that's all out now, so I'm going to have a read in the instructions and see what it says to do. Alright guys, so those side pieces are mounted on now. We've got to get all of this, put it on there, measure it out, cut it, and it should be sweet. Alright guys, so I got this one all cut out, and it took a bit long because I had to cut out this corner here. Looks a bit crinkled there, but that's the best it's going to get, so um, I cut that out. And now I've got this thing that is mounted in there. I'm going to cut that all off and then rewire it so it can mount on top of this piece of wood. So yeah, let's get into that. Alright guys, just got that mounted. So we'll get the back piece on there and she should be all done. Alright guys, that's all done now, looking sweet. The only problem is, I don't know, there's no bracket there for that to sit even and flush with. So I'm going to put a bit of angle on there. It should be all sweet, but everything looks awesome. It's come up really good and yeah, draw rolls are right. That seem better, but they're cheap, so they're good. And then, yeah, looks awesome. Just got to, I'm just not going to put a fridge side in yet. I'm just going to have my fridge ratchet strapped here and then just run the cable over to there. Yeah, it looks sweet. So happy with it. So yeah, let's get this bit of angle in and yeah. So there's that little bit of angle, guys. That's just to hold the front up here because before there was nothing there. So the front was just digging in and I want it to be level with this part here. So yeah, we'll... Put, put it on now and see if it sits level. There we go guys, it sits so much better. Can't sit perfectly level because there's no holder on the other side, but it still sits really nice and sits flush with the drawer, so I'm happy with it. All right guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was pretty fun making it. It took a while, it took me about four hours to do, which is probably pretty long, but I'm pretty slow and not very good with wood. So yeah, here's the drawers, the whole system looks awesome. Really happy with it, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.